Okay, hello everyone. We're starting a new chapter, chapter 17, which is called Descriptive Statistics. And we'll take a look at this first section, which is section 17a, Continuous Data and Histograms. Now, of course, we've already started some of the basic fundamental ideas with statistics in the IGCSE course, and we're going to develop those a little bit further in this chapter. Now, let's go ahead and make sure that we know what we're talking about when we refer to this. And basically, this is what you're talking about. And when numerical data is organized, analyzed, and then generalizations are made about the data, then you are using descriptive statistics. Okay, so that's basically what descriptive statistics are going to be doing and what we're going to be using throughout this entire chapter. Okay, so let's just first go ahead and start off with the basics. Now, of course, what we need to have in order for us to make any kind of generalizations, in order for us to go ahead and analyze and for us to organize, the first thing that we have to have is data and numerical data. So there's two basic types of data that we're going to be working with in this chapter and they are going to be called discrete data or continuous data. So we have the breakdown here. Now if we want to go ahead and try to think about what the difference is between discrete and continuous data, we can go ahead and think about discrete data as data that is counted. So if you can count the number of things that you're talking about here in terms of the data, then you're talking about discrete data. Whereas opposed to continuous data, continuous data would be considered measured data. Okay, so say for example, in terms of a discrete data, it's how many students are in a class. Whereas if we go ahead and talk about continuous data, we can talk about how tall everyone is. Okay, now the most important thing then that we need to be able to do is we need to be able to organize the data. We'll do a lot of the analysis later but we need to go ahead and organize the data. And in order to do that, there are two or three basic fundamental means by which we can organize the data pictorially or in ta table form. Now, for the discrete data, you have frequency charts, column graphs, and of course, that's what's here. And then you also have stem and leaf plots. And we'll take a look at this in class a little bit more as this doesn't show up until a little later in the, in the chapter. So what we have here then, again with the continuous as well, is frequency charts and instead of column graphs, again we have the histograms. And with the histograms, the one thing that's going to be different from the IGCSE course is that all of the intervals are going to be of equal width. So before we said that the intervals could be of different and varying widths in the IGCSE course, in the IE course, it is not so. It is always going to be a fixed interval width. Okay, so what we have then, for both of these, notice that a lot of the information is actually going to be given to you as a frequency chart. From there, you need to be able to go ahead and either change that information into a column graph or a histogram, depending upon the type of data that you're given, and you create a visual interpretation or your visual organization of the data that's given to you. So notice that for the discrete case, you have your column graphs where there's spaces between the columns, whereas in, in the continuous case, you have the histogram, and of course, being that you're dealing with interval values, you don't have any space between any of the columns. Okay, so basically with this, this first section then, is we're gonna be taking the data and making sure that you can either determine first whether it is a discrete type of data or continuous data, and after that, whether or not you can actually go ahead and organize it in a pictorial way. Okay, so there you go. That's section 17A. Again, we're starting off with descriptive statistics by first taking a look at the types of data that we have and how we can visualize, visually organize them in some kind of chart here, or a graph, or a histogram. Okay? So give it your best shot, and we'll see how you do. That's section 17A. All right, see you later. Bye.